welcome back to Man From The Mist. For those of you new, my name's Barry. Today, a very short video, we're going to be doing some more electrolysis cleaning, bearing in mind some constructive suggestions sent in by Rob, Rob Evans. Um, what we've got today is, and I'll show you in the tank in a second, I have created a ring of anodes around the castings. Hopefully it'll help improve the conductivity and ability to clean large castings. We haven't really got large castings in today. We've got the back covers in, or we've got one back cover in um, off the final drive. And I've had in overnight, because they've been in 24 hours, I've had in as well the, um, the dust seal that sits on top of the big seal carrier for the final output for the final drive shaft of the output side. Right, just a few things to clarify a couple of points. Um, what I'm using for this is still a direct comparison to the previous events, which is still my computer power pack. Now, where's my glasses? And I'm doing this with a computer power pack because I've got a programmable DC workshop power supply. This is programmable. I can program this between 0 to 30 volts and 0 to 10 amps. Right? So I can program this to be the same as this or better or heavier than this. And um, But I realise not every one of us has got one of these at home. So... I'm doing a direct comparison with this, just putting more anodes in the bath so we can see actually if it's effective putting more anodes in. So our little computer pack, you've seen this before. Our little computer pack is 240 volt, 1.5 amp input mains voltage and the output DC is 19 volts, 3.95 amps. Kind of a little whack for that little thing, and it's still nice and warm from. I've just took it off so I can show you. Um, I'm going to pop it back on and I'll take you through the process of what we've been doing. All right, right, let's have a look at some parts, see what's happening. Back in a minute, right? So, as you can see, I've changed the setup a little bit. I've got a much bigger main anode in here, and I have two more sacrificial anodes. It's wired up on a loop. So we've got a big circle going on here that's around the components now. You still got your positive lead to your anodes, your sacrificial anodes. You got your negative lead to this rail. What I've done now is I've, I've wire brushed this rail here in order just to give it clean contact. Clicked onto there um, and I've got the parts suspended in there. I had this in, this has come out this morning, right? So this is the cover, the, the dirt excluder that fits over the main seal that is on that final drive shaft. That's been in 24 hours. And it's, it's a bit shiny because I covered it with oil to stop it rusting again. But I'm over the moon with that. I have given that a wire brush in the past, but you can see in there, you can see by the bath, you think parts are clean till you stick them back in the bath, and honestly, so over the moon with that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop the juice off, we'll lift that out, let you have a look at how I've got that set up, and depend upon the results, I might call it a day. I might give it another 12 hours. We'll see. Okay. Now that is looking really nice and black. It's unbelievable. You think that's clean, don't you? 
till you pop it into something like this. Right. Oh, lovely. Tell you what. <laughs> oh, crack in there, man. There you go. That needs a good wash. As I say, 24 hours, you could not believe the amount of dirt that's come off that component when you think it's clean to start with. I mean, look at the crap on there. What's this one like? Oh, yes. Look at that one. Those were just the old bits of angle iron that were lying around on the farm, cut them into lengths, wire brushed them to get their surface rust off to make them clean-ish, right? By the no means spotlessly clean, they're just clean. Popped in that one. Watch them drop the phone in here. That one, look at the pitting on the surface. And that's all from cleaning that, uh, the final drive castings the other day. And that was the puller for the rear oil seal carrier from the rear axle. So you've seen that in a previous video and it certainly wasn't in that condition. But that's how much hammer it takes in there. But I'm over the moon with that over the moon you can see in there the dimples where it's lifted all the rust out of and it's gone black and you see i've wire brushed this previously and it still was amazing how much rust has come off that but i've given it a good coat of oil to stop it going rusty again in the meantime so that will get hung up now <clears throat> what i intend to do next it's the same arrangement, three anodes, the same components from the opposite side and I'm going to use my programmable power pack to do it. Right guys, as you can see, it's a beautiful day right now. A couple minutes ago, it was raining. That wind's still cold though, when you're out and about in the rain. Um, I think in total, I think we've got nine ewes left to lamb. Fingers crossed, everything goes okay and they get sorted out by this weekend. Be brilliant if they do. Right, what I'll do is I'll give you a quick update on the power pack, the programmable power pack that I use for that. But as I say, I realise that not everybody has a programmable power pack, but we can all get our hands on one of those computer power packs. Either we have one at home for a laptop or local car boot sale you get them for a couple of quid jobs are good and all you got to do is cut the plug off solder a couple of leads on a couple of crocodile clips jobs are good right guys thank you very much for visiting hope it's been useful if it has please give us a thumbs up like subscribe tell your mates um and we'll be back with another update shortly but remember don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. See you in the next one. Bye now.